bloody hell. It's so hot. Careful, you'll get sand all over this lovely deck chair. Uh, I think that's a bit unavoidable, seeing as we're on a beach. Hmm, maybe so. Ready to go? Yeah. You parked much further than the street corner, though. Well, look, I may have veered off course slightly, but it's not much further down the high street and to the beach, is it? Good bit of exercise. You can talk. Pardon? I'm only messing with you. <laughs> Had a good weekend? Yeah, I did, thanks. Really meant a lot. We just hung out and chilled, really. It was so lovely just to have some downtime of Elise. Not to worry, it's nice to take everything in once in a while. To stop and breathe. Yeah, it's lovely. Just a thought. Won't people have noticed the TARDIS? No, not at all. It's just a box. Who cares about a box? Besides, they're probably more interested in watching the pier be rebuilt. I suppose so. What have you been up to? Oh, this and that. Stayed here as soon as I parked the TARDIS, really. Walked up and down the beach a few times from Shubury to Lee and back. It's rather nice, actually. Popped over to what's left of the pier to make sure our Sea Devil friends wouldn't be making a comeback anytime soon. And been in and out of the TARDIS, been doing some tinkering, making sure the Master and the Rodney hadn't tampered with anything. The old girl is fully functional and ready. You've been busy then? Not really, I did that all in the first few hours. Blimey. What on earth have you been doing since? Sunbathing. <laughs> no, you. Sunbathing. In that god awful outfit. You must be baking. I think you'll find it's of the most exquisite taste. This is brand new, I'll have you know, the finest cotton. You got it in the shop up the road, didn't you? Perhaps. Though I shall never reveal my sources. Come on, Doctor. Pack up. Let's go. It's bloody baking. Very well, Miss Turner. How many times? It's Carly! Right, yes. I apologise. Oh, Doctor. You've only got to mix up your clothes. I'm, I'm sorry? You're a... What's it? Cravat? It's wrong. It's different from your waistcoat. Green and purple don't match well. Oh, silly me. We must hurry back to the TARDIS. I need to change. I can't afford to be seen looking this ridiculous. Yeah, that'd be the day. Onwards. Hey, hold up. I've still got this bag, you know. Quickly now. Adventure awaits. Okay, here we go again. There we are. All on. Good as new. You've got it wonky. Come here, let me fix it for you. Miss Turner... Carly. Yes, right, sorry, but there's no need... Oh, shush, just let me do it. <coughs> oh, wow, uh, that's a bit tight. Watch the neck, it's a bit sensitive. Wuss. There. All done. Do I look the part? As ever. Wonderful. Right then, I figured, for a little while now, we've been on a wild goose chase with the Master and the Rani. Wouldn't you agree? Oh well, yeah, it's not being ideal. I'll say. And do you also think it's probably fair to say that we're not really done any proper adventuring as of yet? No, I suppose we haven't. Precisely my thinking. I figured, before we get back on their trail, that now that the old girl is back and good as new, we'd go somewhere nice. Somewhere wonderful. Sounds great. Where were you thinking? Hmm. Have I ever mentioned the Eye of Orion? Can't say you have. Oh, excellent. You'll love it. There's just no better place in the cosmos. Whoops! Doctor, are you alright? Uh, to be... or not to be. Oh, useless. Blimey, where's she going? That is the question. Yes, right. Sorry about that. Tripped over the other cravat. Must have forgotten to pick it up. Anyway. These sounds never stop being annoying. Don't you listen to our old girl. Ah, oh, soppy git. Language. Sorry. Anyway, shall we? Hmm? The Eye of Onion. Orion. Sure. But you said you wanted to break. And I do. But aren't you a little curious to know what's out those doors? That sense of adventure gnawing away at you like a little voice in your ear, whispering, Do it. Do it. Fine. Splendid. A barn? Not a barn. A workshop. We need to leave. We shouldn't be here. Now hold on. What happened to that sense of adventure? 
James, is that you? Yes, yes, I know, but we can figure that out once we're sitting on the beautiful hillside. Now, please, we need to go. I can't believe you're finally back. It's been so long. Oh, perfect. Oh, no. You. What? The hell? My king? Yes? We potentially have a plan of attack. I don't need potentials, minister. I need certainties. The doctor has been a plague on our kind for far too long. I am aware of this. Are you? Please, my lord. I am sorry. I know you are resting. <coughs> resting? Don't be absurd. I'm taking a brief moment after a long day of conflict. Yes, my lord. The doctor will be stopped. <sighs> the doctor. The man who claims to have no knowledge of our existence, yet imprisoned us in this eternal hell. <coughs> yes. He shall cure us, or die. Now, I need a full plan of attack, Minister. The Doctor's friend remains in our anti-time world. That's our bargaining tool. Return to me when you have something useful. Of course, my King. I am sorry for disturbing you. It must be here somewhere. Doctor, this is super weird now. What is going on? Bear with me. I'll be right with you. Uh, yeah, sure. Doctor, what's wrong? All the colour in your face is gone. Doctor? Ah, here it is. What are you doing? Using this device, I can scan my DNA and compare it with his DNA. Therefore, we can conclusively confirm that we are the same person. Please don't. Doctor, are you alright? You seem rather quiet. You've never looked in the mirror before? Well, I have, but... Oh, don't. Doctor, explain. Are you talking to me? No, I wasn't looking at you. Why would you think... Ignore him. He's quite self-centred at this age. This age? How much older are you? Let's not get into that. But what are you doing here? This? You? Where's his TARDIS? Scan complete. Doctor, we need to talk. Let me just check the readings. Oh, just listen to me. 1.7% match. How is that possible? Doctor, you are a Time Lord. That's our only link. But on a DNA level, we are the same person. We must be. Doctor, who are you? I am the Doctor. You can't be. Of this universe. Oh dear. Quite. We are in trouble, aren't we? Yes, we are. I've crossed over my own timeline. But this can't possibly be your timeline. I'm not you. That's a rather difficult question to answer. Then please do. Can I sit down? This is getting confusing. One of you is bad enough. Oh, yes, of course, my dear. Take a seat. Thanks. My dear, I'm so sorry. I haven't asked your name. Yeah. God, that's weird. Yeah, I'm Carly Turner. Nice to meet you, Carly. Well, don't look at me like that, Miss Turner. At least this doctor can get my bloody name right. Language. Language. Oh, Christ. You really are the same. Only by 1.7%. Don't get technical just yet, it's complicated. Then explain, is this on a dimensional scale? You could say that. I was resurrected in your image. With your memories. Excuse me? 
All you need to know is that in this current timeline, I'm dead. Well, I say dead, I'm, I'm floating around time and space at the moment. So you are based on this version of myself. Your future, my past, I don't want to say anymore, but we're not the same person, that's for sure. As far as my memory serves, at this point in your life, uh, saved on a conflict, right? That's correct. Five years now. You've spent five years here. How have you coped? Don't worry, Carly. Five years is nothing to a Time Lord. I fought in a war where it lasted... well... Indeed. Don't worry, Doctor. This conflict will soon come to an end. You shouldn't be telling me this. I'm not spoiling anything. It's up to you to make it happen. Right. I think I understand this now. Excellent. I do have one question. If you were resurrected, then what happened to me? Get down, all of you! What's happening? It must be the Saver Loners. We need to get out. What about your technology? It's me they want. Very well. Carly, Doctor, back to the TARDIS. What is going on? Bombs? Quite. Didn't read about this in the history books. We can't get into your TARDIS. We must flee. Good idea, Doctor. Come on. We're out of the blast range now. Good. I'm sorry, Doctor, but we must leave. Myself and Carly shouldn't even be here. I gathered that. It's my fault this is happening. What do you mean? Doctor! Save Alona, King. This has to stop. This cannot stop until we have dominion over... Another Doctor? Leave him alone. Your quarrel is with me. A uh, future doctor. Oh my god. They're like trees. How very observant. So you, future doctor, you did this to us. What? I'm sorry, but yes, I sent you into anti-time. You must return us back to our original forms. Not until Henry is returned to this universe in time. This is unacceptable. You now have the assistance of yourself. You have my word, Save Nona King. Your word means nothing to me, Doctor. We have endured in anti-time for too long. Ugh, what is this? I cannot move! What did you do? James, you actually came back for me. Better late than never, I suppose. Yeah. Who the hell are you? James! Oh, it's so good to see you. Everyone, in! Enter flight, now! This place sure is different. Quite. Doctor, what's taking so long? We're having issues entering the vortex. We can't leave those creatures there. You're right. We can't. Who's this now? His name is James. He's an old friend. I'd forgotten how much he looks like the old me. What? I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Emergency Action 4. So we couldn't enter the Vortex even if we wanted to. What's Emergency Action 4? Well, my dear, the TARDIS is a very clever thing. She's able to detect pinpoints in time where the pilot and crew are needed. Quite rare in most cases, but due to some divine intervention, our ship will not allow us into the time vortex to leave this time period. That's because of me. Oh no. What is it? By crossing my own timeline, I've made the future certain. If this doctor leaves 1592 before he's ready, I will cease to exist. I know somewhere we can go. Excellent. I, I, I don't feel very well. Oh dear. Take a seat. Come on. Thank you, Carly. James. Gonna have to get used to that. Oh, uh, quite. I'm sure you can guess. But I'm from the future. Yes. I can't believe you're here. I'm looking at you again. Face to face. What are you talking about? Oh, n nothing, nothing. Again, from what I can recall, you've been away for a long time. Yes. How was it? Yeah, it's normal for me now. As I thought it would be. 
How is she? What? I'm talking about Julia Breslin. How should I know? You dropped her off back home? Yes. Good. Good. Sorry, uh, time shovel can be confusing like this. I am aware of that. I'll, I'll just take a moment. What's up? Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Are you feeling better? Yes, I think so. Thank you again, Carly. I, I barely know you. And you barely know me. This must be very strange. It is a little bit. How you can be my doctor's past, but still not be him, it's proper weird. But obviously life with him isn't exactly normal, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Can I ask you something? Of course. Why were you stuck there, in your little workshop? Well, like I said, I was fighting in the conflict. But why? Why did you strand yourself? One of my friends, they... They, they took him. I heard you mention someone called Henry. Quite. Henry Woodman. He is from my universe. I'd only just met the poor fellow, then he was taken out of time. I must save him. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? You're so much like him. Or perhaps he is so much like me. <laughs> We've landed. Where are we? A secluded area. No one will find us here. What about the Save Alona King? He's right. We need to come up with a plan. We need to harness his anti-time abilities. Didn't you try that once? Yes. But with two of us, as well as James's knowledge in time world mechanics, we can potentially theorise a way to do so. Then we'd best get started. I'll watch with awe from afar. Thank you, Carly. I know how you like an audience. Did you find his equipment? We know it's there, my king. But it cannot be accessed. The doctor has a safeguard against us. How disappointing. I shall return to the nest until we can progress forward. Yes. Ah, hello. I thought the scanners were on the blink. It appears not. Who are you? I am of no concern to you. What is your purpose on this planet? That too is none of your concern. Ah, I see the parallel doctor is here. This is his TARDIS. You know the Doctor. I'm on a mission for the Time Lords to locate him and bring him back to Gallifrey. No, you will not. Friend of his, are you? You insult me? Ah, an enemy then. He must change us back to our original forms. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you and your kind to depart this planet. It's only level 5, but we don't want any damage to the timeline. Especially not when the Doctor is concerned. There are two Doctors here. Two Doctors. Completely identical. What are you doing? No, that's... that's not possible. He can't be. What's wrong? This is a mistake with the equipment. He turned into atoms. I was there. Leave this place, Time Lord. Or we shall add you to our nest in anti-time. I have a job to do. Then you have chosen. <laughs> I'm sorry. The parallel doctor is here. The real one cannot be here. He cannot. What's that? What is it, Time Lords? Oh my god. What damage has that done to the timeline? What's so bad about that? They're here for me. Why you? 
This doctor is from another universe. He doesn't belong, but he must remain. The timeline is a delicate thing. So we can go and stop them? We're both from this universe. It's not as simple as that. In this current time period, the Time Lords don't know I exist yet. As a result, they cannot know that you exist either, Carly. And as well as that, we've got the Save Alone conflict to deal with. This is going to be very tricky. My lord. Can I not have a moment? Do you feel it, my king? Minister, he's dead. Burned alive. Who? A Time Lord. The Doctor? No, my king. Someone new. <sighs> Track down the Doctor's TARDIS. They won't have left. We must prepare for the final battle. What have you done now? What do you mean? I've been working at the controls. Exactly. I am older than you. I know what I'm doing. And this is my ship. Yes, I know, but you were resting. Well, I'm up now. God. They love to argue, don't they? Yes. So the doctor, well, my doctor, filled me in briefly. He says you're not human. Well, I'm a Time Lord now. I've got some of the doctor's memories. I remember places I never went to so vividly. I know what the doctor was feeling during those moments, like they're now a part of me. Wow. That sounds trippy. And what's the anti-time that the save alone mentioned? It's the opposite of time. Right. Thanks. Really clears that up. What's the cloister bell for? Timeline disruption. The Time Lords are here. I'm here with Carly and the save alone king is... Oh. Uh, uh, uh oh. What? According to the instruments, he's outside with his kind. We can't be involved. Why not? We just need to arm ourselves. No weapons. Whilst I could be inclined to agree, Doctor, without assistance, I will die out there. Won't that cause a paradox? Which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. Okay, alright. I'll make this up as I go along. James Carpenter. How lovely to see you again. Leave him be. Is this all of you? It's more than you have. Time leakage. What are you doing? No, it's not time leakage. Something's coming through. My king. The true king. Who are you? What did he do to you? I am here to save you. You. You are a Savalona. Yes. Yes, I am. We had help. Greetings, Savalona king. Doctor, that's the master. What? Shh, Carly. Ignore her, Doctor. That's the Master. He's been working with the Savonona King. It appears he is attempting to alter the outcome of this conflict, yes. Stop. Oh, for goodness sake. Stay where you are, or I will fire. Stop it, General Marsh. I'm sick of you. Another time, Lord. I'm you, you cretin. You won't remember this, so just leave. I must get the Doctor. Wait. There are two of him. Two? Oh. It's you. Hello, Master. I'm leaving. Savalonis, finish the job and return through the portal. Our mutual friend will be waiting for you. Of course. <sighs> Enough! Get down! What was that? The timeline is fractured. We need to fix it. It's too late now. Our TARDISes will be out of action. We need to finish this properly. Savalonas, kill the Time Lord! My king, we must go! No! Charge! Then as your king commands, attack my people! Attack! The Save Loners are charging. Do you have any of your equipment? I do! Start fighting them. I'm going after those new Save Loners. Come along, Carly. You and me, like old times? Yes. I'm sorry for staying. There's no need to apologise. You were in an impossible situation. Thank you, my friend. Ready for the fight? Doctor? Yes? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Never. <laughs> Let's do this. Stop! 
What are you doing here? Don't you realize how many time paradoxes you could have caused? The master told us he would handle them. And you believed him? We want our king back. We will do whatever is necessary. I'm sure you will. Well, as it so happens, neither of us should be here. We must remain away from this battle. We cannot interfere. We tried to stop the king. We just want to save him. Your king is too far gone. Once the battle is over, we're leaving. Wait, come back. I've got orders from the Lord President to capture you. Quiet. You've chased the wrong doctor, General Marsh. You... You know my name. Oh yes, Master. That's not who I am. Wait. Hang on. He's the Master. In a manner of fashion. It really is you. Hello, old friend. What was that? The battle. It's coming to an end. Hold on, James. I've rewired the temporal lock with the quantum phase generator. Here we go. What is this? Just a little payback. What's going on? Look, the time device is activating. Doctor? J James? Is that you? Doctor, I... Yes, I know, James. Concentrate fire on the doctor. No! No, General. Stop! Doctor! Henry! Ah! Whoa. Ah! <clears throat> Carly, are you alright? Yeah, fine. What's happened? Shockwave from whatever temporal device the parallel doctor was making. Oh my god. Look at the saver loners. They're fading. I'm sorry it had to be this way, save alone a king. Time is mending. My people! You did this! You were going to kill everyone in the galaxy. I had to. You can rest now. I'm... I'm back! Henry Woodman. As I live and breathe. Of course, the Seven and the King never existed anymore. Therefore, you could not have been taken. Doctor, you look... You... Oh, I've got you. Doctor, the other Saver Loner is still alive. Oi, you! We have failed our mission. Flee, my people! Leave them, Carly. We'll catch up with them later. For now, damage control. What are you going to do with him? Henry needs to rest. He spent five years in stasis, in anti-time of all places. What about the others? Let me check. General Marsh is still alive, affected by the time blast. He won't remember any of this. We also have the Master to thank for that. I mean, no hurry. Ah, <sighs> bloody headache. James, good to see you with us. That headache will fade. Time breakage is a tricky thing. Now let's see to the parallel, Doctor. What are you doing? Just exploring his mind quickly. The time blast. It's affected him too. What does that mean? He won't remember this. James, you may find him to be forgetful for the foreseeable future. Bear with him. What happens now? You'll be the only one who remembers now. It'll all be down to you. You're going to wipe his mind? No, oh God, no. There's been enough forgetting. James, I need you to do something for me. Yes. Keep an eye on your doctor. You know who I am now. You know his destiny. Be patient with him. Keep this from him, for his own good. Knowing the future of your friend, that's horrible. How's it horrible? You have to lead them on that path. You could show him, you could show them a new life. I don't want to take that risk. It's the only way forward, Doctor. James is right, Carly. We must stick to established events. Now, we'd best get you and the Doctor into your TARDIS. Set events back on course. Help me with them. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, James. James. Get that mirror away from me. Hurry up. Ah, oh, now it will be like he fell asleep in his chair. What about the Save Alona King? He's dead. Gone. Never existed. No need to mention him. What happens now? Don't say anything. Act just as surprised as he does. When his memories begin to return, work with it. My head... Oh, James, there's a young girl here. Help me. Blimey. So, this is it. It is. We really must be going, James. A pleasure to see you again. And off they go. They'll be all right, won't they? Doctor. It sticks to the timeline. James will have known all this time. I wonder if that's why he left as early as he did. In the end, he couldn't bear to see what the future held. I suppose I'll never know. Not now. You okay? Always. Now, come along, Miss Turner. It's Carl. Oh, why do I even bother? And what about these two? Oh, General Marsh imprisons Henry on Gallifrey. Then the Parallel Doctor will find Henry. I know what I'm doing, Miss Turner. You're really pushing it now with the Miss Turner thing. <laughs> you keep rising to it, Carly. Ugh, whoa. What is going on? My head. Ugh. Why can't I remember? Lord President Veritas. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear, General. I'm afraid I've been unable to locate the Parallel Doctor in this time. I see. How disappointing. I shall arrive to meet you. There's no need see to... See you soon, General. Lord President. Lord President. I... Wait. That's Henry Woodman. Events are moving forward. We need to get out of here before anyone notices the TARDIS. More time, Lords. Carly, round this corner. It's him. Who? Essentially, he's the English version of the Irish one. Now, shh. I'll pretend I know what that means. Henley. Who are you? That doesn't matter. What matters is that you cannot visit the year. We must visit the year 3093. Veritas. Who's he? Future version of the Parallel Doctor. Well, that's pushing it. And the other guy before him? Another future version of the Parallel Doctor, but younger than this one. The new timeline is setting in, and that future Doctor never tried to warn Henry. Good to see you again, Henry. Truly. Who... Who are you? Why, I'm the Doctor. Don't you recognize me? I don't understand. Oh, no matter. General, get Henry on board. If I say too much, I'll disturb the timeline. Well, aren't you already doing that by telling me this? I always forgot how clever you really are. Sorry, who are you? I've told you who I am, Henry. I shan't say it again. Now please, do get in. It's very comfortable, I assure you. Whoa! I know you're out there. I'll see you soon. Doctor. Come on, Carly. It's clear. What the hell was that? It's over now. Henry is gone. The Parallel Doctor and James are on their way. Back to how things should be. In a way. What was that? They were fading between each other. 
that was a timeline correcting itself. Same outcome, just different. I think I get it. That future Doctor, the one in silver, you said something about him. I did say something. What happens then? Well, he's not me. He was pure corruption. He seeped into my life like a disease and took what he wanted, leaving me with nothing. Either way, Veritas gets what he deserved. Alright. Let's get out of here, yeah? You read my mind. Flight corrected. What about the saver loaners? Those future ones? We've got a lock on the signal. It shouldn't be too long now. Oh, good. But why did they come back? As we saw, the master sent them back, with a mutual friend too. Obviously, they were trying to tamper with the timeline. The Rani? Perhaps, but again, it's not her style. We're homing in on their origin. Where is it? Earth, London, early 21st century. Need me then? Indeed. Doctor? Yes? After all this is done, we'll go on that break you wanted, yeah? Eye of Oreo, wasn't it? <laughs> Orion. But yes, Carly. Absolutely. As soon as this is all over, the Eye of Orion it is. I'll bring Oreos too, now that you mention it. I couldn't think of anything better. Nor I. Thank <laughs> you.